Good morning guys and welcome to another day in the life of Pi, this time coming at you from Tegate. Uh, I'm in the garden of our, my hostel, really nice little garden area actually, and the hostel's been great. I was the only one in my four bed dorm last night and got a really good night's sleep. Managed to get loads of admin done which is pretty good and the Wi-Fi has been the best I've had in the Philippines. So even managed to get four or five videos up online as well. Um, today we're going exploring the lake which you won't be able to see because it's so bright but it is over there. Uh, we're going to go in and get some decent shots of the lake, potentially climb up one of the peaks so that we can get a good view over over the top of the lake. Unfortunately, because it's Saturday, everyone from Manila that comes to Tegate for the weekend. So this hostel is fully booked tonight, so I've got to move to a different hostel just down the road. So I'm going to pack up my bags, move to that hostel, uh, and then once we've got there, we can go and explore the lake. Guys, so chasing to my next hostel, I'm staying at OMP, which is about 2k outside of Tegate City, but it's pretty peaceful, quite nice, it's a nice little garden that I'm standing in at the moment. I have got to go now to get a jeepney to the centre of town, which should cost 8 pesos. Then I'm going, just got to shut the gate behind me, then I'm going to get a tricycle down to the lake, a boat across the lake, and then I can hike the volcano. Um, if I can't do all of that for cheap, then I'm going to give up and just walk around the lake and take some shots of the lake and hopefully see a little bit of the volcano. Uh, I was speaking to a guy a minute ago who said that he had to pay 2,000 pesos for the boat because he was by himself. Now there's no bloody way in hell I'm paying 2,000 pesos for the boat. So I'm hoping that I can join up with a tour and then get the boat for sort of two, 300 pesos because I do not, I'm not spending that sort of money. So uh, let's go and get this jeepney and find out and see how this works out. Go and see this bloody volcano. Go on the jeepney, first stage done. So I've now found myself on a trike heading down the mountain. Guys, so got the uh, trike down to the lake. Uh, I'm now in a little town called Talise, which is where you get the boats from. The problem is that all of the boats are private and there's no public boat. And the cheapest you can do it for is 1500 for the boat. Now that's pretty good if there's five or six of you sharing the boat, because then it's like four or five quid each. But if you're on your own like I am at the moment, uh, that means it is 20 pound, 24 pound uh, for the boat there and back. I was hoping that I could get down here and share the boat with multiple people, uh, but it turns out you can't share boats. So I think I'm a little bit foobard, but I'll show you a shot of the volcano um, and we'll see, I'll show you some of the lake and some of the volcano and have a look. Guys, so here is a shot of the lake and the volcano. On the right side over there is an in inactive volcano and that's not actually where the lake is. The lake is on the left hand side, right in the middle, and you can just about see the kind of reddish brown lava at the top and the viewpoints up there looking into the lake. Um, this would be an amazing thing to do if you were with a group of people, but unfortunately there are no tourists in this place. So yeah, there's a shot of the volcano guys, but I've been in Tegate for two days now and I haven't seen a single other tourist. So. I'm not gonna pay 1500 for the uh, boat by myself, but I am just gonna have a walk around the lake, try and get some decent shots of the lake and the volcano, uh, and then I think my tuk-tuk driver's gonna drive me back up, or my trike driver's gonna drive me back up, and potentially stop at some viewpoints on the way. Uh, but this has been a complete bust, if I'm honest, um, unfortunately. <laughs> Can't stay. 
are back up into Gaete now. The town, I've got to be honest, is a bit rubbish. It's just fast food restaurants everywhere. Um, trying to find something healthy to eat is a nightmare. So I passed a shopping mall on the way down here with a big supermarket. So I'm going to go out there and try and get something healthy to eat. Uh, and then I'm probably just going to go back to the hostel and chill out. Tagate has been a complete bust in all honesty. Um, kind of looking forward to leaving this place. I got up, at least I got to see the volcano and it is beautiful. Uh, I got some decent shots of it and you know it's a beautiful volcano just I wasn't willing to pay that sort of money. So if you're here and you're with a group amazing or if you meet people amazing uh, but there's no one to meet because I haven't seen any other tourists the whole time I've been here. Uh, but let's go to the shopping mall and see what happens next. Guys, that's it for today. It's been a complete failure when it comes to going and visiting the lake. Uh, but the good news is, I'm on the hostel balcony at the moment. The good news is, I think I've found a crew that we can go with early tomorrow morning. So I hope you've liked the snippet I've shown you of the lake. There's some beautiful scenery and beautiful views. And we're going to go properly exploring it tomorrow. But until then, guys, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your comments about the Philippines so far. And until tomorrow, peace out.